how are you doing? It's Alan here from Look For Warriors. And I want to talk about Think and Grow Rich. I want to talk about the first chapter, The Power of Thought in Think and Grow Rich, the book. Now, Sutmi talks about a lot in the first chapter, which is a failure. And it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, failure. He does, it mentions it a couple of times. Like, for example, he talks about a guy who was mining for gold. And he mined for gold, he found an incredible gold vein. He went and got borrowed money and he dug up the gold that was there. And then he found at one point that the gold had ended. And he didn't get enough gold out of the ground to cover his debts and spent years trying to pay those debts back. Now, when he couldn't find any more gold, he went to a like a scrap metal kind of guy sold all his equipment just to get some of the money back and he the scrap metal guy went back to where he was he employed a professional i guess it was genealogist professional something like that and the professional told him yeah just tr three yards from where he was there's actually the gold continues and he became very very wealthy from digging up the rest of that gold the scrap metal guy did and he's talking about the failure of the guy who was so close to the huge, huge amount of gold and never got to it. So he talks about failure a number of times. And there's, there's a big kind of movement at the moment to say, yes, fail and fail quickly. Gary V says this, I love Gary V. Everyone who says it, you know, I follow them and I love them. And, but it's not true. It's not true that fail, you should fail quickly and move on and then go on to success. A failure doesn't breed success. What breeds success is tiny successes, tiny successes. So that guy who was digging for gold went in and found the rest of the gold it was the tiny success that sent him on to go and get the rest of the gold. When a child is learning to walk, they fall for sure. But it's not the falling that teaches them how to walk. Now there is a certain drive within this person that gets them to get back up again and keep walking. And, but it's not the falling that teaches them how to walk. It's a tiny little success to learn how to walk. I'm doing table tennis at the moment and I wanna play harder and harder and harder with people and as I, as my own skill level gets better and better. And it's not the, it's losing every game doesn't give me the drive to, to move forward, but it's the tiny little wins. It's winning a point. It's the tiny successes added on to each other that drives you on to bigger successes. Exactly the same, my kids are learning to go on the bikes. They've learned to go on the bikes, but while they were learning to go on the bikes, they fell a few times and you need to you need to fall and get back up for sure but it's not the falling that gets them to gets them to drive to keep learning it's the feeling of being in that bike feeling the wind in the face and the feeling of the mastery of the bike even if it's only a tiny match, you need to only go for five minutes, but it's the tiny success that leads you on to bigger successes. So I think it's a little bit dangerous to think that like failure is a prerequisite for success. Not necessarily. And anyone who's a big success will fail multiple times. That's for sure. But it's the tiny successes that we should be looking for. And I'm saying this for me. I'm not saying it for you if you're watching this video right now. I'm saying this for me. We should be looking for those tiny successes and build on them. And that's what, and if you have kids, I'm talking about for my own kids here, we should catch them doing something right. Never, we spend all our time catching them doing something wrong, but we should catch them doing something right. Every time they do something right, do something well, we should catch them doing it and point it out to them. And go so far as to think about what unique, special thing that you love about them. It's not just, oh, I love my kids, blah, blah, blah. 
Is there something unique and special about them that you love? And you should point it out to them all the time. Give them those tiny successes. Give them bigger and bigger and bigger successes to lead them on the biggest successes in the world. So what unique, special thing do you see them doing? I think about my own kids. One of them has incredible determination. He's had some tough days in his life and his determination to overcome challenges, to be successful even with huge blocks put in his way. That's what I really admire about him. Another one is a really deep thinker. He really, really thinks about things deeply. He listens to things, he takes them in, and he really, really throws them around in his cranium so, so deep, and he comes up with incredible thoughts and incredible ideas. He also has really good musical talent. And another one is just so friendly, so nice and friendly, and, and just everyone likes him. And then the other one, <laughs> there's not much more. <laughs> the other one um, has come across incredible challenges where I couldn't help him, I was just too busy to help. And he's older now, but he came across incredible challenges in his life. And he sorted them all out himself with no help from me. And I would like to be there to be helpful. But sometimes you're just too busy. I like work all the time. Sometimes you're just too busy and you can't help in particular situations. And he found solutions himself. And I'm really proud that he was able to do that. But it's just finding, and I'm talking about people you work with, you're, 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 who you're married to, everyone. Just find those little little unique, special things about them that you love and help them find their successes and find your tiny successes for yourself. And that's where bigger and bigger and bigger successes come from. So I just wanted to challenge that a little bit. I love Think Grow Rich, it's a great book. But I don't think we should focus so much on the failure. I think we should focus on the tiny successes and the systems to go back to what Scott Adams says, the systems that give you those successes in your life. This has been Alan here from Love of Warriors. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel.